Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoners War video. Today we have another RTA video because I want to tell you guys that I gave up with my speed team, with the first turn team. And that means I'm not I'm not using probably Chung Pong, the Hei Gang. Well Hei Gang will be more of a counter pick, but I'm not using Chung Pong most of the time. I am not using my Savannah, my Oki, and so on and so forth. And I'll tell you guys why. Hi guys, before we start the video, if you are interested in any of the account services you see in this video or my past videos, please go to the descriptions below and join my Discord channel. All the information you need is there. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me and my channel financially, please join my Patreon, which there is also a link in the descriptions below. By joining, there is a chance you can win a free account improvement in the content you want in Summoner's War, and also free to ask for help whenever you are stuck in the game. I try to be more of a direct help to my Patreons, so there is a high chance I will help you with your account. Just remember to be respectful to each other and we can schedule a time that works. That is it, and let's continue with the video. Again, if you guys enjoy videos like this, please put a comment below, smash that like button, and also consider subscribing if you haven't, because that really helps me, and it also exposes this video to more people out there. So my current win rate of C3 is 55%, 56%, much lower than what I had last season of 61%, almost 62%. And that is because I tried the fast team my i always first picked chung pong i second picked a second stripper like a hey gang juno something like that and then i went with like sierra and oki savannah i went that kind of team but in this meta unless you have like insane rune quality it doesn't work people bring out rusa and riley i'm gonna show you guys some of the, the units that i, I ruined up but my Juno, yes, 41% accuracy, but when I take in this Juno as a stripper with my Oki, 41% uh, extra accuracy, 82%, okay? My Chung Pang, 80% accuracy. My Hei Gang, 87% accuracy. Um, what's another stripper? Do I have another stripper? Oh, I do. My, uh, my Praha that I ruined up, 35%, okay, that's kind of low. But when I play these teams, Praha I bring out more often these days, now that I don't play fast, but if you look at it, Oki 54%, uh, Savannah 25%. But again, I use it with Oki, so or Oki or a Ganymede because they bring in accuracy leads like 41% accuracy or 55% accuracy leads, but they don't land anything. They don't land that, like the Rusa, the, the Molang, the Carnal, the Riley. I do understand that most of these units are on high res, it makes sense, they're on high res. But some, I mean, maybe some are not, but it just kills me if I fail to strip, or if I do strip, Riley or Rusa procs, and they just get a, uh, they just get their stuff right back up. It's just so hard in this current meta if you have mediocre rune quality, and I have, I have to say my fast team is pretty mediocre, right? Uh, other than my Sierra, it's ruined pretty well. Uh, where's my Sierra? Yeah, my Sierra is ruined pretty well. Um, not that bad, I think. I think it's really good, and with the with the artifacts, she does a good amount of damage, right? I think th th those are all pretty good. Uh, other than that, my 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 team is somewhat mediocre going fast. Like Chung Pong, not that fast. I really wish I had a two multiple two seventy Valences that could do this, but I kind of wanted some more damage too. And I really thought eighty accuracy was going to be enough, but no. They laugh at you, man. What is 80% accuracy? There's nothing. Uh, my Juno is okay. My Oki on uh, violent speed, speed attack, HP. 70% crit rate has 54% accuracy. Does not stun. He just does not stun. So it doesn't work there. Higging. Higging also misses stun, which is which blows me away. He is not fully scaled up, but this is, you know, harmful effects all, all there. It's all there. But with this current meta, it just doesn't work, guys. It just doesn't work. I tried it out. I tried it for so long. I think I've played more than 100 matches going fast. And the win rate was around the 50%. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So I went back to the OG and the current meta picks. I know that the balance patch came out and Wusa is getting nerfed. I really wish there was only Wusa and Nigong stayed. But sadly, 
it was like a domino effect. If the Wu says skill two gets nerfed, then the Nigong skill two also gets nerfed, right? They're the same skill. So I'm excited about that, but before it ends, I am trying to take as much um, advantage of the current team. So if you look at my past battles, you could see that I'm always, if I can, first picking Wusa. I'm always first picking Wusa. I'm going back to my one of my favorite picks, which is the Wind Monkey. Uh, if I don't get Wusa, I always pick out the Riley because overall these units are much easier to ruin. They're tankier. They can survive. They're mostly all on violent, so they s at least get to move. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of show you guys some of the battles and um, show you what I'm talking about. So let's look at this one. This one was a cleave and. If you guys saw my fast team, what I said, quote unquote fast team, fast control team, they're still not that fast. Well, I do have some fast units ruined up, such as the Bastet and and Escher, but they weren't my priority units. So if I meet a team like this with my fast team, I'll just get outspeed, outsped and lose. But now with a team like this, I am I can kind of flex at the end to make sure that I am kind of surviving. And that is what exactly happens in this battle. He tries to kill everybody. But my Nigo survives, brings everybody back to life, and then it's over. He can't do anything. He just can't do anything. I just heal right back up. I just put in damage, you know. <laughs> I have unlimited heals, and he just leaves. Makes sense, right? So let's look at another battle, because that one was pretty one-sided. Okay, a very good example right here. And I also don't have Karno and stuff, so I didn't think that I could go second turn and go slow, but with Wusa, pretty good counter to Karno. Um, you can see I take into Riley, but now because I take Wusa and Riley, a lot of people pull out Bulwark. I pulled out the Leo because of the Savannah, obviously he banned that. He's, he's, he's Guardian Wings. I'm pretty sure this was more of a luck thing too, because his rune quality was really, really good. Obviously Guardian Wings, Guardian player. But I did get some lucky procs from my Antares that allowed me to win the game. But again, if I go fast and like go with Chung Pong and the opponent brings out what do I say? Um, the Verd and the Antares, they just proc all the time, they just revenge all the time, and I just can't do anything to that team. It's really, really annoying. I really want a Carno. Carno slow debuff is pretty devastating. It's pretty pretty devastating. And I think if I get Carno, I could still kind of play this control comp. But right now, just not working out. Riley skill one, skill one heal is awesome, and with that, I am able to win this. Actually, I'm able to win Antares because Antares goes crazy. But I get some lucky stuns, and you can see more procs. As I go on, he couldn't kill my Riley. Get another stun, Riley heals everybody, and that's practically it. So another cleave, and again, if I went a fast team, the only way I could win against this is probably outspeeding or making some blast three flex picks that really get, could guarantee me the win. I have to be really smart about it. But if I go Rusa, you know, Rusa first and then like a tanky unit, my picks become much more flexible because I could pick out units to counter other units. He goes first, that's totally fine. He doesn't have Lucian, so he couldn't kill me. 47, 43k. He just get granted me a turn. I could put that up. Even if he kills me now, I just come back to life. Nikon, great counter, great counter. Predict the future, I strip everything. And then I go for that guy. Crazy how he didn't get anything much on the Juno. But with this, he had almost no way to win. Almost no way to win. But it looks like that Kali was on Violent, which is really, really interesting. Violent Kali pretty fast and hitting 43k. That's pretty insane. But I just really need um, a strip, right? Tried to kill my Wind Monkey. Didn't happen. That was it. So my Juno hits like 2k, which is not that bad.
But you can see that if I get my Usa stolen, I'll pick something like that, Riley Juno. And then he picks out this Hathor, and then you can see the the bit the Bulwark as well. The Bulwark really counters the the Antares and any buffer. Antares buffs you know randomly, and if he gets more buffs, it's best. It's good for the good for the Bulwark. Here I just get Ganny Hathor in a really interesting way. He kills my Juno. Should have thought of it, huh? But this game is pretty simple. I just get controlled uh, non-stop and I lose. Just get controlled non-stop. Another one that I have a hard time dealing with is with the Nana. I think this was also one where they took Rusa, so I had to take what I usually take, the Riley Juno. And then he picks out the Bulwark, again, very common. I try to come back in this game with that, with that um, Rigel. And I try to counter him with the Demon pick. But I should have known that he could go for the Snipe, and he goes for the Snipe right here. Yeah. I had, I, I mean, I kind of, I kind of played this pretty well. Meaning, like, I had a chance to win. Other than the fact that I picked um, the demon, I should have known that he was gonna just get wrecked like that. But I am able to, you know, bring kill off all those all those souls, make not only use all those souls, but I was just a little short on the damage. My Rider is no longer on a violent build, it's on a vampire build, and I did focus more attack on him, on him but he is still not on a crit damage build. He had a really tanky Molong, even even with the um uh, even so with the HP lead as well. But you can see I used I, I used all the souls. So I felt like I had a chance if I just killed that damn Molong. But sadly I didn't get the chance. I think I did kill the Molong eventually. But he just has so many units left. Right here, reckless, boom. With the shield and stuff, that's why I lost. <laughs> now even if I kill him, he comes back to life again. So that's 18k, so he has E easily over 50 50k right now after the HP has been lowered too. Uh, it's, it's really frustrating when Rigel does not get like a defense break or freeze, and I think that cost me the game. See here, no defense break. We did get the freeze though. Couldn't kill him right there. I'd have been happy if I did. He gets a stun there. And then now they could go for my Riley that's defense broken. Yep. And he gets another soul and I was like, okay, it's over. Yeah, if the defense break wasn't there, I might have had a chance. You can see my Riley's my right right Rigel starting to do a lot of damage. But it was a tad too late. Yep. A tad too late. Defense break right here. And yep, that was it. So this was a more unfortunate event. The Nana did too much work, um, but I don't know if I left if leaving the Bulwark is a good idea because in the end he will do that same Wombo combo, right? Bulwark will use skill three or skill four, whatever skill that is, and get rid of fifty percent of the HP, and then Molan will just one shot one unit. And with the heals that he had with Wusa and stuff, he will just be able to do that over and over again. I'll show you a very sad one, and it shows you the power of rune quality. This person's rune quality was insane. I, I mean, I should have lost. I should have definitely lost, and I did lose, but it was pretty close. And it was because all due to his rune quality. So you can see that I brought in the Wusa Riley, and they easily picked up the Bulwark. Maybe I should have brought out the Leo here um, to counter the Savannah. But that didn't happen. Maybe maybe I kind of wanted more damage with a defense break. My Wind Monkey did do work. My Wind Monkey did do work, but 
he just has so much control. So I, at this point, I was like, okay, I lost. I lost, right? He kills my Juno. He has so much damage with the Savannah. I was pretty sure that I lost, but it's funny because I got really, really close. So he keeps going for a monkey, hoping to kill it, but he didn't, he doesn't get it easily. I'm more surprised of the Chu's damage. The Chu does so much damage. The Chu critted all the time. It was pretty insane. So a very high crit Chu, maybe a crit, crit rate slot four. Um, but that's really fast, which is possible. Let's see another crit there. I got some lucky lucky stuns. So Comp to us tried to try to give me a chance, but then he procs, but I resist. It was it was like a it was like a one two punch where we're exchanging jabs. Um, he couldn't kill me there, so I do get to kill the Chung Pong right here. And then I heal a little, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, but he does kill my Wind Monkey right here. But I do kill them all along, and I was like, oh shoot, I have a chance. If I kill this Savannah, I have a chance. Right? Maybe I should just kill off the Savannah earlier than and left the Molong because the Molong is gonna have a hard time killing these two. But the Savannah does have a higher chance because he does so much more damage. Um, but right now my heart was racing. I was like, I could win this. I just need another skill too for my from my Wusa, and I could get this going. He knows that too. He knows that. <laughs> But now he's finally off and he tries to kill my savannah didn't work It looks like his savannah might not be on a violent build because he she didn't proc once which is pretty weird Now I just have to kill the wusa getting to sleep on water insane But uh, put skill 3 I propped and I do kill the savannah and I thought I wanted this this point, I was like, holy crap, I won. Come on, how is a Chu gonna win against a Wusa? But he was critting my my Wusa all the time from, with, from his uh, um, from his basic attacks. And I thought I won when I got this heal. Here I thought I won, so I didn't use skill 3. I had skill 3, but he crit right on this spot. Right on this spot. And I lost. <laughs> I lost. He crit right on that spot and I lost. I did have skill 3. I mean skill 3 wouldn't have done much because I think because he did use um well I had skill 3, he used skill 2 first, and then he outspe he outsped, he lapped and used skill 3. So I still would have had my shield up and will. Well it really depends on if he lands skill 2 or not. But maybe I would have had a higher chance if I did skill 3. I don't know. But because of these reasons, I am going the slow route, I am going the second turn, and it definitely looks like my win rate is higher. Because my win rate did go down to like 54, 53, something like that. Uh, but I, 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 climbed it, I climbed it back up. Hope I could NC3 at least, if anything. Uh, but I will continue playing, I will continue playing this kind of battles. Uh, before I end the video, I'll show you guys some of the runes of the main units that I use. Um, so I started using Prowl a bit more. The reason I have her in this kind of build and not like 90% crit rate or 80% crit rate is because I don't have any fast violent or despair runes that could get her really fast plus with high crit rate and with like HP and defense. But this is she's on despair revenge right now. Um, I do bring her out bring her out here and there. I am using Abelio on crit damage now, violent will much faster than before. My Wusa on violent will. Uh, not that fast. I killed his. I killed his speed because uh, there were some um, runes that I used on other units. Uh, Tessarion here and there. I bring him out. He's on Violet Wool as well. Uh, this is my Triple Revenge Vertahill. Uh, my Antares that's no longer on 100 res. I just for I just gave up on it because the more I play, the more I understand that resistance is a joke on my side especially. So I just stopped on that. Um, I don't play these too much these days, but they are all ruined. Uh, my Juno on Despair Revenge. Uh, plus 165, plus 165. Uh, my Wind Monkey on Violent Revenge as well. And then my Diana on Violent Will. My Leo, that's a little too fast. I really have to kill the speed, but I'm, I'm, I'm using him 
using him with a nemesis set I might change it to a endure set and try to get 100 res on him and kill with more speed my Riley on violent will again uh, pretty fast 100 res and that's it I I sometimes use Nigong as you guys saw and I am using Alexandra well I did use Alexandra when I was doing the first turn team and that's why she's this fast and don't say anything about the crit rate because she she always crits on skill 2 in human form but that was it hope you guys enjoyed the video and if there's anything else if there if you, have, if you guys have any questions regarding my teams how I'm doing um, or just have any questions at all just put a comment below and I'll be glad to uh, answer that uh, but yeah that was it and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye